Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing Love and Hip Hop New York Season 4 Episode 11 Review. The show starts off where it ended up last week with this beautiful proposal that Joe had set up for Tahiri. And the look on her face is like, oh my goodness, this is so beautiful, but I can't be marrying you, Joe. She unfortunately says no and left Joe down there on bended knee. And he's got the look of, he just looks so sad and pitiful like... I thought this was too good and I'm showing you I can change. But to Harry feels that you can't be out and about in the club having all these different women over your daddy's house just last week and then now you want to come propose to me. This is not the way I wanted to go about it. He just thought she meant, you know, go be, like, do something big, show me you love me. But she meant, like, you have to actually... Stop with all the women, stop with all the pool parties and all that other stuff that he's been doing. But he just looks so broken and sad and she was like, I can't do it, Joe. You no know, family over there just like hoping and praying that she says yes. Yeah. Saigon goes to meet Erica's Erica Jean's daddy. I guess they ain't never met. Daddy don't like him about the way what happened when she was pregnant. He just ran off and went on to her. They trying to be a family then. They trying to get to know each other more. Get to know each other better, which, you know, y'all should have been knowing each other before y'all laid down and had that baby. But that's neither here nor there. Saigon's, um, Saigon's, Erica Jean's dad is like, you know, okay, Saigon, if you're going to be here, you got to be here. You're going to have to step up and be a father. Not just a dad, but a father. Whenever your child needs you, you have to be there. You can't get mad and go run off and go on tour. You got to be there for him and my daughter. And I heard y'all wanting to move in together. Well, you got my blessing. I'm going to miss them both. But just remember, you better not hurt them or you're going to have me to ha handle it. No, I'm going to have to. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, you have to deal with me. He didn't say that per se, but that's what I got. And it's like, I was like, no, I'm going to do right by you and your daughter. Your daughter and my son, I'm going to do right by him. So we're going to see how this works out. Erica Mann is having her book release party. She's there with Sin. She's showing Sin, I love you. She's already through this little birthday party for Sin. Sin, like, don't give me no more jewelry. I just want you to act like you got some sense and leave Rich alone. You know, I don't like him. You know, back in my head, I still think you have feelings for him and you're just using me. But stay away from him. So at her book release party... Rich shows up, and Rich and Erica are talking, Sin shows up, she's like, me and him need to talk. I think you corny, Rich. The way you've been going about things, kissing on my girl ain't cool. You corny, I don't like you. And after about, like, five minutes of this, Rich just blows up, like, basically, girl, I let you borrow Erica. Erica will always be mine. This me and her right here, you ain't nobody, you a bird. At one point... He had stormed off after blowing up with her, and him and Eric was outside, and he just, like, forcefully kissed her. Like, he was almost going caveman style. He was, like, one step away from clubbing her over the head, throwing her over his shoulder, and carrying her back to his place. That's the way he was acting. She straight up almost caveman style. I'm like, really, Rich? She's like, you can't be doing that, you know, just running up on me and kissing me forcefully. Really? Some may look at that as an assault. Is it close to being what? It was close to being an assault. I'm like, really, really, what's wrong with you? Calm down. Jill goes to visit his mom. And he's like, I don't know what happened. I proposed to Harry and she said, no. What else can I do? And he's like, you know, y'all just want... Did she actually say she don't ever in life want to be with you again? Or she just like, I don't really want to get proposed to right now. We need to work things out. And he's like, I don't really know. And he's like, he's confused. So he needs to get advice from mama. But mama's like, you know, I had to just work with her. And show her more. You do go up and propose. You get to show that, hey... I don't have these pool parties no more. Hey, I'm not in the strip club five times out of the week. I'm changing for you. That's what you need to do, Joe. Yeah. Peter and Amina go apartment shop. And they find a real nice one that's like, okay, this, he's like, this could be a studio. And the woman's like, oh, it could be a room for a baby. And he's like, uh, baby, I don't really know about wanting to be no baby. He feels that they are cramped up in her studio apartment. I'm like, really, Peter? What not like four of y'all living in Ter uh, Terrace Place? That place didn't look all spacious, but you cramped it with just the two of y'all in the studio apartment? And when it was four of y'all in Terrace cramped up place? 
okay. So, I mean that she wants the baby. She wants the baby. Like, all oh, your little baby mama's got babies, which I hate that word, which, like, they have babies. I want a baby, too. And he's, like, he not really wanting to be a daddy again. He's, like, one step from being somebody's papa right now, and she trying to make him a daddy. He's, like, I ain't really no guy being a baby. But y'all should have thought about this before y'all got married. Whether you want to have any more kids. That's, see, that's what people need to do. Y'all need, before y'all sit down and get married and move in together, what have you, y'all need to sit down and explain to each other what you do and don't want. Hey, I want kids. Eventually, I want to get married. I would like to have a house one day. These things you need to talk about before you move in with each other and before you get married. See, Peter, Peter and Amina did things all kinds of wrong. Y'all didn't talk to each other. See, now you realizing that this girl was a baby, which is like, that's not a far-fetched thing. And, you know, he's ready to be somebody's papa, which probably is. Because his son is like, what, 20-something? Probably is already some papa. He's like, I'm ready to just have my grandkids on my lap. Tell them stories about back in the day and I used to be, you know, a rapper. Now I'm somewhat DJ. And he's not ready to be changing diapers and all that stuff. And at the end, he went to go see Tara. She came from like she was working out or whatever. And he's like, I know I got to let you go. It was hard seeing you the other night with that dude. But, you know, I made my bed. I got to lay in it. This is the choice I chose. And, and all this other stuff. So, I'm going to let you go. And she's up there crying. I'm like, okay. It's so good to let you, for you to let me know this. So, basically, that was the gist of the episode. Nothing spectacular happened. I didn't go into everything that happened because it wasn't really all that important. So, like always, I want to thank my subscribers and I like my people who watch my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.